<coughs> okay, ready when ready. Ready up and let's do this. Ready in the chat. Let's go. So, D Invader, you need to win the first set of 3 out of 5. If you win this first set of 3 out of 5, then you play another and then the winner of that wins. If you lose this first set of 3 out of 5, you are automatically lose. Because you are in loser's bracket already. So, you basically are at a disadvantage. Brandon puts on his Dark Moon Blade. And goes in for that rush down. Alright. Nice block, but oh my god, almost getting backstabbed there. Puts his guard up. Brandon is whittling down a stamina and gets that backstab. 917. Uh oh. Gets another backstab. Dean Vader down in the corner. Tries for something fancy. Gets another. That oh, was an R2? Alright. Ouroboros switches to Spear. Just gonna finish it off with the Turtle Fest. I'm actually not sure about this, honestly, but I guess he just doesn't want to get backstabbed. Oh, okay, he switches back to the Falchion. He's just like, you know, I'm just gonna finish this. But, you know, I guess that's what happens. Ouroboros a half. He's just like, fuck that. You're gonna fucking push your shit in. Ugh. 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 Uh, spear fast. Niggas poking at each other. Ugh, ugh. All right. This is where Brandon needs to randomly pull out the falchion and just rush down weeds. Uh oh, a real poke into a backstab, and Brandon takes game one. The invader gets himself back here, and Brandon too probably gonna refresh his dark moon blade. Wait, faded one? Wow. Wow. Faded, you are a faggot. You're a faggot. Fuck you, faded. Fuck you. I can't believe you did that. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. I saw that. Oh my god. Ugh. I was gonna win that, man. I was so close. I had that shit. So, D Invader, I'll explain what once more. Um, yeah, fuck you, Faded. I'll shove some twos up your butt. Uh, Dean Vader. So, the way this works... Oh god, I still can't believe you won that. Oh my god, I had that, I had that. Oh, I had that! I had that! Yes, Dean Vader, correct. You have to beat him six times, he has to beat you three. Because he technically, quote unquote, beat you three times already by being in winners. We got the invader in here.
basically you th you can think of it as the f the first the person who comes out with more wins wins the tournament and so after a certain amount of games played so basically if if uh if Brandon beats you then that's it you know he he just wins if you beat Brandon you basically give Brandon a loss you can basically think of it as the first person whenever you lose three times you're out sorry twice you're out whenever you lose twice you're out right everyone that loses bracket loses once and then whenever they lose twice by losing again they're knocked out so if you, you've already lost once so if you lose another time then you're knocked out if you kill Brian or Byron fuck if you kill Brandon then Brandon's only lost once, so he's still in the tournament, basically. Got invaded again. He left, signs down. Never mind, I got him. The D curse. The curse of D. Yeah, soapstones in real life sounds scary. Like fucking faded spawns all like fucking dark red in my house. Wearing like whatever creepy clothes he's wearing. Hella creepy. Oh shit. It's like I guess I'll spectate over here. Actually, no, let's not do that. Because this is actually important, where being able to lock on me versus not being able to lock on me is going to make a difference. Okay, both players type ready in the chat, and when I get there, I'm going to throw the bomb down. Oh, he needs prison stones to mark anyways. So remember, Brandon already up one game. Alright, both players, please ready up in the chat when you're ready. I have a feeling I'm going to see sparklies. Yeah, he's, he's, he's laid down. He's, he's marking the field. So he doesn't fucking pull a D invader. D, D throwing shit down to lag my game. Alright, ready up when ready. Okay, Brandon. Remember, don't do anything until I throw. Okay. I'm gonna intentionally, like, not throw the fire just to troll him. Okay, good. There we go. That's some honest play. Okay. Hella hut, hut, hut. Fire throw. Oh, okay. Uh oh. The invader doing a good job of getting damage in. So far, the invader, like an iron wall that has just gotten penetrated out of the butt. 
Nice 917 backstab and a midi 367 reading that roll towards him actually. Very nice. Uh oh. The invader landing a backstab of his own though. And getting a nice poking afterwards. Ouroboro now really low. He's going to swap to his spear. Try and lame it out. We'll see how well this works though. And indeed it does not. And the invader tying it up. 1 1 against Brandon. The two mighty well known stream players vying for first. The winner of this, god damn it. The winner of this not only goes first, gets an extra uh, five points in season points. Now if Brandon lead if, if Brandon wins this, he will be in a very, very uh good position for winning that hundred US dollars. Or at least a fair chunk of it. No, D Invader is not Soul Invader. Soul Invader is just a pretender. Soul Invader plays Xbox. I think Soul Invader is the guy or one of the people who ran the 360 tournament. At least that's what some people said. Or no, maybe it's just that he won it or something. Okay, so looking for Brandon to get back in this game. Brandon's put his sign down. The invader marking his territory. Lighting count taken out by PS3. Taken out by Sony. Fourth place goes to Sony. Grimpill just, you know, representing Sony. He's not the real fourth place winner. The fourth place winner. Or the third place winner, sorry. Sony. As he ride takes third place. I should actually change the title of this. This is Hell Not Losers Finals. This is Hell Grand Finals. So are you still playing Gundam? Okay. Okay. 